Good evening, Excellency, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to Cambodia Global Dialogue or Southeast Asia TV. This year, Cambodia is chairing ASEAN, and there's so many things happening in town. Summit, foreign minister meeting, economic minister meeting. But this week, we have a big symposium in town, uh, organized by Area and the Royal Government, in collaboration with Harvard University. And I had, on an extremely short notice, the pleasure to have Professor Kriang Sak, Chereng Wong Sak, to, to come and uh, share with us a bit about his perspective on, uh, what can I say, uh, ASEAN is a center of growth and production hub, something along that line. So, Professor, welcome. Dr. Sok, it's a pleasure to be with you. Yes. Professor, why don't I give you a few minutes to let you introduce yourself a bit so that the audience have a good feeling where you're coming from? Sure. I'm a Thai. Yes. I was educated in, uh, in Thailand until high school. I study in U.S. Yes. Then I study in three continents in university. Yes. In yes. Australia at Monash University yes. and Melbourne University, in uh, Britain in Cambridge and Oxford. Yes. And in in uh, U.S. Yes. at Harvard University. Yes. Then I have a privilege to be in so many careers simultaneously. Yes. Sometimes, sometimes sequentially. Yes. I am academia, of course, professors of economics and strategy. And also, I'm in business. Yes. I set up a lot of companies, wow. uh, both in Thailand and yes. overseas, sit in as director in some companies that come from Silicon Valley, listed wow. in some public uh, stock exchange uh, in some countries, and cover the globe. And also, in politics, I have been privileged to serve my country as member of parliament. Yes and also advisor to Prime Minister, Deputy Prime Minister, advisor to many ministers and, and head of the President of the National Assembly, Parliament, and so on. So I'm, I'm privileged to be involved in, yes. in the politics, in academia, yes. in business. Well, Professor, I thought you were talking about me. <laughs> And <laughs> oh, I think we, we together. We, oh, good. I think we, we, um, we share a similar, very, very, very similar and background. And, and, yes. and this uh, setting, they put me down here as senior fellow of Harvard yes. University. Yes. So here I'm, I'm, I'm here doing this conference yes. because uh, they would like me to share yes. something from my perspective yes. as an economist mm -hmm. uh, about ASEAN, yes. which is very Indeed. dear to our hearts. Indeed. Well, uh, <laughs> Professor. You know, you gave a very good uh, and convincing presentation at the symposium. Can ASEAN be a center of growth and production hub? Uh, what to to a lot of people we say, okay, ASEAN 2015, we're going to have one single production base, that sort of thing, is is a great idea. But you know, realistically, you know, you think we can do it? I think we can. In yes. fact, we have a huge advantage over yes. many other regions okay. of the world, not yes. to negate their yes. importance, yes. not to say how far have they come as well, yes. but we have tremendous uh, history. Yes. ASEAN is not something which is new. Yes. It has been with us for many mm. decades, yeah. for 40 plus years, okay. almost 50 years history. Transform itself slowly, yes. evolving into a free trade regions, mm -hmm. and also is moving now to the ASEAN community yes. with three major pillars. Okay. The economic pillar, mm -hmm. the political security pillar, the yeah. socio-cultural pillar. Yes. Therefore, ASEAN has a long history. And when you are long enough, yes. you know, yes. you have learned a lot of things, yes, how exactly. to work together. Well, if you're in the 50, you should learn something. <laughs> you should learn yes, something. Yes. And it has there not only a, a vision internal, Yes. It's an open regional kind of a setting yes. Yes. where it's reaching out mm. to the rest of the world yes. slowly but surely to many areas. Yes. And that makes ASEAN a really unique hub yes. Yes. because it's reaching out to mm. other countries like Japan, mm. China, yes. Yes. India, ASEAN plus three, mm. Korea, ASEAN mm. plus six, and other kind of setting like East Asia yes. summit, yes. that kind of thing. So ASEAN is very unique yes. in that sense. That's why I think it's promising. Hmm. Because it's so so uh, well well uh, integrated in a to a level, mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. moving into mm -hmm. higher and mm -hmm. deeper integration. Yes, it has a vision where all countries yes. are uh, taking it yes. together with commitment. Mm -hmm. It also has proven record. Yes, 
that it has grown. Mm -hmm. Yes. Not only in terms of the, the each country is growing economically, in the, and also the size of economics. Yeah. But also internally among themselves, mm. we trade among ourselves, we invest among ourselves. Mm. So it's a region that is yes. very much not only growing internally but also growing yes. externally. Yes. And it's very, very powerful because yes. the record of growth. Mm. Yes, yes. Uh, but, but professor, you know, I, I can't help but going back, a big mm. flashback to mm. ten, some 10 years ago when uh, at that time, you know, uh, we're not that integrated yet. And then uh, ASEAN leader have commissioned McKenzie. Mm. That time, with ASEAN competitive report, right? Mm. I remember 2001, 2002, something like this. But one, the message you know, that uh, come out very clear in those mm. days uh, was that, look, either ASEAN get organized, build a real building block, if not, we will not survive China. Yes. Now, we, we, we are now doing that, right? Mm. And I see, as you mentioned, that we're now the center of growth, a, a pole, we are pulling mm. China as a partner mm. rather than being threatened by China with mm. mass. What do you think I of think that? I think it's a positive approach. Yes. And we are unique because we are not too big to threaten China. Yes, yes. No yes. threaten India. Yes. And because we are, we, we are so, uh, so unique and we are friendly, mm -hmm. ASEAN, mm -hmm. in a way, China is willing to engage us. Yes. After all, China probably have some historical problems with, with say, Japan. Yes, yes. Historical problem with India. Yes. How could the big guns get together without some small gun yes, try yes. to link them? With, with Korea as well. <laughs> with Korea well. too, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. And as, as you yeah, see. Yeah. Uh, therefore, I think ASEAN, therefore, uniquely equipped to be able to play that kind yes. of bridge. Yes. You yes. know, that bridge yes. that bridges everybody yes, together. Yes, yes. Yeah. And ASEAN have done it marvelously mm. well mm. because mm. we each of our is that, is that because the ASEAN way? You see, the ASEAN have some very charming way. Yes, yes. We are we are we are not we are not in a way aggressively, you know, try to uh, move forward in our own agenda without re mm. take regard for other people. Exactly. We have the a the ASEAN yeah. uh, soft way. Yes. The yes. ASEAN more amicable mm. way. Yes, yes. The ASEAN willingness mm. to yes, yes. cooperate. Yes. To uh, be mm. patient with mm. one another. I see. And the hospitality yes, indeed, of the indeed. ASEAN people. Yeah. Professor, production hub, what do you mean by that? Of course, you know, in many ASEAN countries, Thailand is uh, the largest uh, producer of car, for example, right? Uh, Japanese car, for example, right? So, uh, are you talking about the sort of industrialized uh, production hub in the region, you know, uh, in Thailand, in Malaysia, something You know, else? I would like to see that it's extended to yes. beyond just the industrial production. Okay, okay. It could be agricultural production, right. okay. it could be service. Yes. You yes. know, and okay. comprehensive. So production here is not not just limited, not to manufacturing. Okay, okay. It has it, it have to take into account yes. everything ASEAN is really yes. standing for. Yes. And we are okay. with big, very very big agricultural base. You're right. You're right. Therefore, yeah. all these things mm. can come in. Yes. And this production network, yes. which is happening uh, in ASEAN mm. and also extended worldwide, yes. in a way, yes. despite the world which is not quite free fully yet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some distortion is happening, yes, yes. but yeah. more or less, mm. whoever are coming together in a more integrated yes. way have a better chance mm. to be able to be part of the production chain yes, yes. In, a, in a niche that is uh, very unique. And ASEAN is doing yes. right, I, just I, that. I, I, I can help but looking a bit from the legal angle, but mainly because I'm a lawyer. And I see that, y you know, before the big legal firm are all Western firm. Mm. For example, but now I see in the recent years a lot emerging of ASEAN firm, yeah. you know, collaborating, and certainly they become very powerful. Yeah. They can tack on uh, the big boy as well. Mm. And and this is probably something I'm, I'm glad you mentioned. A production hub is not necessarily industrial. It can move to service, uh, engineering, mm. architecture, that sort of thing. Yeah, it, it is happening. Yes, and it's in happening. Fact, it it's has happening, to happen. Right? Because the weight of gravity is slowly yes. shifting mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. the east, right? Yes. And ASEAN is part of the very major yes. part of the east. Yes. And, and you can see evidentially mm. clear that we're going to have a heavier weight more and more mm. along the way. Okay. Not to neglect our Western yes, friends, yes, yes. but we, we, we have to play our role. Yes. And we are we're having that chance. Yes. Would 
would you see that now in the context of uh, a, a Europe who's living diffi difficulty, financial crisis, uh, unemployment, you know, source of growth diminishing, that sort of thing, do you, uh, and do you see them coming to our region more as a competitor? In fact, I, I do see them as collaborators. A collaborator, yes. In, yes. You know, the world has a place for everyone. Yes. You know, in the in if we talk in terms of even uh, Adam Smith, yes, the absolute advantage okay, concept, okay. or yes. even Ricardo, David yes. Ricardo, yeah. the relative, you know, comparative yes. advantage. Every one of us have a place mm -hmm. to be. Mm -hmm. It depends on where we are, yes. as, at yeah. least relatively. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And therefore, ASEAN has its place. Mm. You know, where where historically the the European has been powerful. Yes. They still have their role to play, even though they are going through some very dif major yes, difficulties. Yes. Yeah. And that implies uh, many more years of yes. difficulties. And but they will swing back yes, eventually. Indeed. indeed. And we will be together. Like anything else, what come up must come down, and then. Mm. Is a pendulum swing, you know. Yeah. But hopefully by then, w ASEAN will be quite a strong and secure. You know, by sure. that time, ASEAN would be f far different from what we are today. Yeah, exactly. And I think I can see the acceleration that yes. could happen. Yes. Yes. And uh, the picture of ASEAN that we are thinking today mm. may be very different from mm. in the mm. longer future. Yes. Yes. Where Where do you see uh, the people talk a lot about ASEAN centrality from the political sense, right? And mm. here we talk about centrality also from the economic sense, the production sense. Uh, do you think that we can play, you know, You know, I think we are unique role? in the centrality. Yes. And I, I, I throw a concept at a conference in a, yes. in a unique way for mm. sometimes in my writing, but now yeah. in the conference I said, you know, if you look at a globe like a, a big orange, yeah. and you slice, uh, you know, from top down yes. and sideways, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you'll find that you slice sideways ASEAN is right in the equator area, you know, okay. the ASEAN, okay, right? Okay. It's very yes. middle, yes, central. Yes. Yes. When you slice from top down, you can uh -huh. slice anywhere you like, yes. in the Pacific, in the yes. Atlantic, in mm. America. But you know, if you slice through ASEAN, mm. the middle of ASEAN, Somewhere you'll find there. you'll be in the middle of majority of the humanities. Yes. 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 I, I, I use the illustration that you yes. fly two hours yeah. From from the centrality of ASEAN, yes. three hours, yes. four hours, yes. even six hours, yeah. you cover huge majority yes. of almost mm. all mankind. Yes. And therefore ASEAN centrality geographically yes. is very important. Yes. Geopolitics, yeah, geopolitics is yeah. very important. Yes. You know, uh, you I cannot help when uh, to mention uh, the what you call the brick jam. I heard about the brick but not the brick jam. Yes, it's my invention. <laughs> okay, so you have to tell me about Let the me brick jam. Let me tell you, I, yes, I yeah. throw this because concept. I heard about the brick. I said, "Wow, brick jam! What is that?" Yes, you know, I thrown a concept uh, some some years back, and and lately I spoke in a, very, a major international conference called World Chinese yes. Economic Congress in mm. Malaysia. Yes, where so many leaders are there, and I say. Why not? During the crisis of the Western world today, mm. we need a, some kind of a more, uh, engine of, of growth that is okay. called a coalition of new kind, a new polit economic pole. Yes, yes. You know that yes. can be of weight. Yes. I've, and I, I, cont I, I throw this acronym called yes. Bricks Jam. Brick Jam, yeah. Purposely, yes, it's yes. like when you have many bricks, you yes. have jam like the cementing yes, yes. factor ah. to keep the bricks together. You're right, you're right, you're right. And you and it, yeah. it gives you a good image. Yes. Uh, so you you, have, Brazil, you have jam, right? And these are the country. That B is Brazil. Yes. I is Russia. Mm -hmm. I is. Uh, India, India, C is China, China. K. Uh, K is South Korea, okay. S is South Africa, and then you have J and Japan. Japan, A is ASEAN, ASEAN us. And, right. us, and M is Middle Eastern, wow. the Gulf state particularly. Yes, yes, so yes. you see clearly that yes. you are collecting all the mm. major economic powers mm, mm. outside the Western yes, world yes. together to help the world yes, exactly. during this period mm, where mm. the world going uh, the western world are going yes. through severe crisis yes yes and we know how to work together and ASEAN is the middle of it as a hub yes yes and, how and powerful it can be you're right and in fact if during this difficult time you know ASEAN can be a place where they can uh, European company can look at the source of growth this is also our way to also help back Definitely, you know, it's a payback. Yes. It's in a, a payback, way, you know, exactly. To our, our, our friends who are in the win -win, Western world, you know, they invest in our country. Mm -hmm. They bring capital, technology, in a thriving market. In return, 
they bring back. They rejuvenate their own exactly, economy. Exactly. And their, their capital has to be parked somewhere. And, and then they, they buy more product from us. <laughs> yes. So, so, so it's, it's a win-win. Win. Yeah, it's a win-win. Yeah, so it's, it's something that I do not think the, op the West will object. Yes. During yes. this period when yes. they are going through severe difficulties. Yes, yes. I think this is the right time. It, it takes the commitment mm. of head of states yes. and heads of governments yes. to be mm. able to come to think together and say, yes. hey, what about BRICS Jam? Yes. Is there a possibility? Is yeah. there a thinking so small? Mm. Let's collect all the powerhouse yes. of the different continents. Mm. And here we cover all the continents. Yes. You know, I, I'm, I'm quite keen to, to, to see how the uh, nine Asia-Europe summit Mm. which is going to take place in Vientiane uh, in, mm. in the first week of November. Mm. And there's going to be a lot of talk about partnership, mm. you know, uh, Asia-Europe partnership. But I think the gist of it will be more how do we help secure each other's source of growth? Because yeah. ultimately it's all about source of growth, yeah. right? And we could be that, 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 uh, that region that can provide that opportunity. Yes, I think yeah. so. And in fact, you know, bright spots in the world are limited these days. Yes. Yes. You know, despite mm. China slowing down a little, mm. uh, India are not growing as fast as yes. we love it to be, yes. but it's growing. Mm -hmm. both, both are still growing yes. compared to the West, they are doing yes. marvelously well. Yes. Yes. Uh, but compared to themselves, yes. they don't do as well mm. as they mm. used to. Yes. But, you know, ASEAN has uh, shown promising mm. signs yes. as a very bright region where the yeah. average growth is doing well in yeah. the present and the past mm. yes. and the future. Yes. The forecast for mm. For the 2017, for example, yes. the ASEAN region will be the brightest spot mm. in the entire globe. Uh, professor, I, I always want to see both sides of the fence, right? Mm. You know, both sides of the picture is the mm. same coin. What would be, uh, if we have to prioritize in terms of challenge, right? You know, yes, we have a lot of opportunity with the centrality of it, but you know, nonetheless, ASEAN is still a grouping of sovereign nations. Where do you see the challenge? To, to make sure that we harness mm. the synergy among mm. ourselves mm. and to secure all, all that thing that is so promising. You know, there is some, we have to recognize this, that we are too small to be on our own. Okay. That I have I said this very clearly yes. every time that we, there are 7 billion people in the world. Yes. Each of one of us in the 10 ASEAN nations yes. are not big enough on yes, our own. Yeah. <laughs> You know, despite yeah. some are bigger not, than others. Not big enough to threat people, no. not big enough to attract to be, people. To be yeah, on exactly. our own. Yeah, exactly. And therefore, we, we are brothers. We need to be together. Yes. And we have to be close brothers. Yes. Yes. We yeah. have to be harmonious brothers. Mm -hmm. We must be together in a real way. Yes. To be 600 million people, half the size of India, yes. almost half the size of China, so yes. that we could be a new CIA. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. China, uh, <laughs> India, and ASEAN. You, you're pretty good at acronym. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And by doing that, you just yeah. imagine 1.2 1, 1 billion, 1.4 billion, yes, that's 2.6 yeah. billion, yes, yeah. plus 6, 3.2 billion, yes. about half the size of the world, just the three, the three blocks. You know, two countries and ASEAN. Yes, and yes. plus, if you have plus some more around mm, the, mm, the, the centrality mm. I mentioned, yes. you see we are very, very important in mm. uh, linking together. Yes, Therefore, yes. I just want the political commitment. Political commitment. The willingness, yes. the political will to mm. push through, yes. to see that well, we have to give in a little to our brother. Yes. Yes. You know, sovereignty is something all of us yes. are very much uh, love yes. and care for, but yeah. To work together, yes. you have to give yeah. in a little, yeah. exactly. you know, so that we could really work together, exactly. and the price is worth yes. paying for. Exactly, it will make us mm. be be uh, be uh, integrated in a real way, not just a ASEAN that come together, but uh, like silo mm. with some bridges. But it will be seamless. Yes. Seamless. And the the more seamless it is, yes. the more the the little hurdles yes. anyone has to go through. Yeah. ASEAN become very very much one. Mm. Yes. One community, one yes. destiny, mm. like what. Uh, uh, Prime Minister Hun Sen yes. has uh, been willing to advocate. Yes. This That's our team, you know. You As know. A, uh, one destiny means we go together. We have to know? go together. Yeah, it's Therefore, a will. We go together. So if our, our brothers, our, our ASEAN brothers, countries are yes. doing well, we do yes. well too. Exactly. So together, if that yes. is, so what I'm worrying about is, is the political will. Yeah, political you know will. why? Because yeah. we are sympathetic. Yes. I, I, I know politics. Mm. I've been member parliament. Yes, yes. I have advised prime ministers. Mm. So I, I know that, you mm. know, the pressure yes. is very heavy. Yes. Every time you try to do some reform, yes. do some restructuring, yes. 
Yes. There are some benefiting people mm. and those who are not. Yes. And usually those who are not benefiting and need to adjust yes, would, exactly. would have some problems. Yeah, but yeah. the net gain is always yes, positive. Exactly. I mean, exactly. Look, how do we cope with all those people who are disadvantaged? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the pressure is going to be heavy yes. on, the, on the political sector. Yes, and yes. You, sometimes that slow it down. Mm. Sometimes that stopped it. Sometimes yes. that aborted it. Yes, and yes. that's what I'm worrying about in yes. the future when we go through. So, so political uh, finesse, political mm. commitment, you know, reaching out, compromise mm. uh, for the benefit of the whole. Mm. I would say ASEAN is a public good. Yes, you know, correct. That, that's correct. Word. that that's concept good. is good. <laughs> yes, yes, rather than just uh, our own, uh, you know, individual state, but as a whole, we should promote ASEAN as a public good. That some sometime one country may lose some, they some may win some. The next turn it be that country mm. that will win more than the other. That's right. But when you average out. We all win. We all win, yes. And uh, on the long term, yes, we yes. all fully win. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and you know, I, I, I say that, you know, we, we, we talk a lot about the macro thing. You know, when I talk to journalists, sometimes, you know, because perhaps because they don't know enough the economic implication, mm. and they, they only like to cover the big summit. Mm. But you know what I tell them? I say, you know, you guys should focus also on a micro level. Yes. Because you see, as integration is great, it's big, but until it reach out to the life of the small mm. Cambodian, the small mm. Thai, the small yes. Vietnamese, you know, it, it, we, we are not successful. After you know, all, people yes. matter. Exactly. And I say, like for example, the work of a junior official in immigration that spent so many times, so many meetings to agree on an uh, so like ASEAN visa, for example, mm -hmm. or no visa to mm -hmm. travel, right? Uh, I mean, to the journalists, they don't want to cover. Mm. But I say, if you look at the economic effect, mm. the fact that a Cambodian, you know, woman can fly tomorrow, a, a young businessman, mm. and go to Chatuchak Market mm. or go to Patunam mm. and come back with four brief uh, suitcase of nice jeans, right? Mm. Wholesale price, she fly back, to distribute the local market, mm. you know, the effect is there, and you multiply four flights a day. Mm -hmm. I mean, the economic effect mm. you know, is there. That's right. So you, you go to Bung Rad, you go to Bangkok Hospital, or you fly to Singapore. I mean, all these things adds up yes. into employment, mm. into economic prosperity, mm. and at the end, that's how people can relate. Look, I'm flying tomorrow to Bangkok. Who cares? There's no visa, I'm flying, you mm. know, I got a phone call. Yes. See, business is there. Mm. And this is where I see the real gauge of success, is that mm. the people connectivity. That's right. Not just the political connectivity. Right. Yes. It's the nuts That's and it. bolts. That's it. It's all the details That's that it. really matter. That's it. And when the people can able to connect, yes. and I could use the word seamlessly, yes. Yes. You know, when there is really no little hurdles, you yes. have to cross over, it's easy, yes. smooth as silk. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Maybe put it that <laughs> way. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so if you can do that, then you see yes. tremendous yes. opportunity out okay. there. No, it's great. Well, Professor, look, uh, we're running out of time. You know, I hate it, this 30 minutes. It's, mm. it's hard to get started, but when you start, you're into it, and then it's over. Mm. But uh, I'd, I'd like to give you a few minutes. Mm. Uh, What's your message, you know, to not just to Cambodian but to ASEAN as a whole? Because this program is broadcast worldwide. Right? I would really say this. This is a unique, opportune time yes. for ASEAN people yes. to be together like we never ever have been. Yes. This is the win, 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 ten times ten opportunity. Time. <laughs> it's opportunity that may not come back again if yes. we put any hurdles there. Exactly. Let's understand this. Yes. Let's work together. Mm. Let's love one another. Let's yes. care for one another. Let's yes. be brothers. That's and let's it. move forward together. That's it. Well, Professor, thank you so much it's on pleasure. a short notice to, to come and to speak on a topic that we are not preparing at all. But I'm excited. I am I'm very optimistic, you know, in the way uh, the progress of ASEAN is going. Let's face it, you know, ASEAN is uh, more than an, uh, an adult. Mm -hmm. is a mature, grown-up, mm -hmm. I mean, if a human being, we are late 40 already, right? Mm -hmm. So we should be quite mature in that mm -hmm. sense. Uh, so on that note, I just want to say that uh, I look forward to see uh, a thriving ASEAN, uh, ASEAN that can play a good central role, but an ASEAN that is inclusive, mm -hmm. uh, comprehensive, mm -hmm. you know, 
uh, taking care of uh, our own brother and sister mm -hmm. in the region. Mm -hmm. So on that note, I'm, I'm very happy that you could yes. come. And I hope that your, your next visit, you will stop by again to the Certainly. studio. Yes, yes. It's a pleasure talking yes. to you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you, Professor. Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're coming to the end of the show, but uh, uh, I am so happy that I have a glimpse on, from the perspective of uh, not just a professor from Harvard University, but from a internationalist, a globalist, a, a multi-talented uh, personality who have a very broad perspective on development on the region and global issue. Uh, and Professor uh, Kringsak, uh, Jeremy Wong Sak, is, is, is such a person. And I'm so glad that in the last minute he come and share his wisdom in that short minute, uh, or 30 minutes show. So I hope you learned something out of it. And I hope whatever you learn, you can put to good use. But the main message is that, you know, this is a historical opportunity for ASEAN. You know, the main challenge is how do we get leader, the political finesse to work together, to compromise for the benefit of what I like to call the ASEAN public good, the good for all 10 countries. So on that note, good night.